Hi everyone, so in this video I have five concentration calculations. They all involve moles, so these are all higher tier style questions. So here's question one, pause the video, have a go and then replay when you're ready. So first of all I'm going to write down the, the information that we've got, the numbers that we've given and what value, what sort of quantity they represent. So we've got 30 centimetres cubed, that is a volume. So I'm going to write V for volume equals 30 centimetres cubed. Now generally in chemistry we don't want a volume to be given in centimetres cubed. Okay, and you can see this other value that we've got, this other number we've got is in decimeters cubed. So you definitely need to make those units on the same page. So we're going to convert centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed by dividing by 1000. So it becomes 0.03 decimeters cubed. Okay, the other number we've got is 0.105 and the unit is moles per decimeters cubed. So that unit is a unit of concentration. Okay, so the equation we should know that involves volume and concentration is number of moles. The number of moles is the concentration times the volume. So I can work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide by doing 0.105 times 0 0.03 and that comes out as 3.15 times 10 to the power of minus 3 moles. Now we've been given that MR of sodium hydroxide here is 40, MR equals 40. So the equate the formula sorry that involves N number of moles and MR is N, number of moles, is mass divided by MR. Okay, so I'm going to use this formula to work out the mass of sodium hydroxide, which is what I've been asked to do. So I'm going to substitute the numbers into this formula. So N, we've worked out, is 3.15 times 10 to the minus 3. We don't know the mass yet, but the MR is 40. So to get mass, I'm going to do 3.15 times 10 to the minus 3 times 40. And the mass comes out as 0.126 grams. Here's question 2. Pause the video and have a go and replay when you're ready. So again, I'm going to start off by writing down what I know from the question. We've been told... 250 centimetres cubed. Centimetres cubed is a unit of volume. So I'm going to write V equals 250 centimetres cubed. We don't want the volume in centimetres cubed given that we've got decimetres cubed over here. So I'm going to divide by a thousand to convert to decimetres cubed. Okay, the other number I've been given is a concentration. So I'm going to write C equals 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. The formula involving concentration and volume is number of moles is the concentration times the volume so I'm going to work out the number of moles of citric acid by doing 0 0.05 times 0 0.25 and that comes out as 0.0125 moles. Okay, so we've been given some relative atomic masses for carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So with that information, we can calculate the MR of citric acid, C6H8O7. So since there are six carbons, I'm going to take the atomic relative atomic mass, 12, and multiply it by 6. And since there are eight hydrogens, I'm going to take the relative atomic mass of 1 and multiply it by 8. And since there are 7 oxygens, I'm going to take its relative atomic mass, 16, and multiply it by 7. Add that all up and we get an MR of 192. 
So the formula involving number of moles and MR is N equals M over MR. I'm going to substitute in the numbers that I know. So N is 0.0125. We don't know mass, we want to work that out, but we know that MR is 192. So the mass is going to be those two numbers multiplied by each other. And that comes out as 2.4 grams. Okay, here's question three. Pause the video, have a go, and replay when you're ready. So we have been given some information about citric acid. We've got more information about citric acid than anything else. So I think I'll start with that. So C6H8O7. Okay, we have been told it's got a concentration of 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. We've been told the volume is 13.3 centimeters cubed. We want to convert that to decimeters cubed by dividing by a thousand. Number of moles is the concentration times the volume. So the number of moles is 0.05 times 0.0133, which is 6.65 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Okay, the ratio of citric acid moles to sodium hydroxide is 1, because there's no number in front of citric acid, so that means 1 to 3. 1 to three. Okay, to get from one mole to three moles, we'd have to times by three. But we don't have one mole, we have this number of moles. So to get the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, we need to times that number by three. So now I'm calculating things to do with NaOH. We know the number of moles is whatever the number of moles of citric acid is multiplied by 3. And that comes out as 1.995 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Now if we go back to the top of the question, we can see 25 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide was used. Uh, that is a volume, so I'm going to write V equals 25 centimetres cubed. As usual, I need to convert that to decimetres cubed by dividing by a thousand. So the equation again, the formula again, is number of moles is concentration times volume. I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know. So number of moles is 1.995 times 10 to the minus 3. We don't know concentration, that's what we want to work out, but we can times by the volume, which is 0.025. So concentration is going to be 1.995 times 10 to the minus 3, divided by 0.025. And that is going to come out as 0.0798 moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, here's question four. Pause the video, give it a go and replay when you're ready. So we have been given the most information about sodium hydroxide. We have its concentration right here and right at the beginning of the question was where we were given the volume. So I'm going to write a heading sodium hydroxide. The concentration is 0 0.102 and the volume is 25 centimeters cubed divided by a thousand to put it into decimeters cubed. We can calculate number of moles by times in the concentration and the volume. And that is 2.55 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Okay, so that's the moles of sodium hydroxide. We can work out the moles of citric acid by comparing their mole ratios. 
So the ratio of citric acid to sodium hydroxide is 1 to 3. Every 1 mole of citric acid that reacts, 3 moles of sodium hydroxide reacts. So to get from the number of moles of sodium hydroxide to the number of moles of citric acid, we have to divide by 3. So that's what we're going to do to find the number of moles of citric acid. We take the number of moles of sodium hydroxide and divide by 3. OK, so we've got the moles of citric acid. We can work out the volume because we've been given um, plenty of volumes of citric acid in the table. We just have to find the mean. And we only calculate the mean using concordant results. And we've been told those are ones within 0.1 of each other. So I'm going to find the mean of 12.1, 12.15 and this other 12.15. Those are all within 0.1 of each other. 13.5 is more than 0.1 away from all of those. And 11.1 .1 is also more than 0.1 away from all of them. So they are too far out to include. So the volume is going to be the average of those three values. The way we do that is add them all together. And divide that result by 3. And that should come out in your calculator as 12.13 recurring. That is in centimetres cubed. So again, I need to divide by 1,000 to put it into decimetres cubed. OK, and since that's recurring, it's a really long decimal. I wouldn't round here. I would save that value in my calculator. So our formula is number of moles is the concentration times the volume. I'm going to plug in the numbers I know. Moles is 8.5 times 10 to the minus 4. We don't know concentration. Volume is 0.01213. So to find the concentration, we are going to do the number of moles divided by the volume. And that is going to come out as 0.0701. Here's the final question, pause the video, try it out and replay when you're ready. Okay, we have lots of information about sulfuric acid, so that's where I'm going to start, H2SO4. We've been given the concentration, it's 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed, and we've been given a volume, 15.5 centimeters cubed, divide by 1,000, turn it into decimeters cubed. 0.0155. We can work out number of moles by doing the concentration times the volume. 0.5 times 0.0155, which comes to 7.75 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Now we're going to look at the mole ratio. The number of moles of potassium hydroxide to sulfuric acid is 2 to 1. 2 to 1. So I've calculated the number of moles of sulfuric acid and to get from sulfuric acid to potassium hydroxide we need to times by 2. So I'm going to take this number here, the number of the real number of moles in this particular circumstance and I'm going to multiply it by 2 to get the number of moles of potassium hydroxide. And that comes out as 0.0155 moles. OK, we've been given the volume of potassium hydroxide. It's 25 centimetres cubed. Again, divide by 1,000 to convert to decimetres cubed. We're going to use the formula, number of moles is concentration times volume, and plug in the numbers that we know. So we've just worked out N is 0.0155. We don't know concentration. Multiply by the volume, 0.025. 
So concentration is going to be 0 0.0155 divided by 0 0.025, which comes out as 0 0.62 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, this question has asked you to also calculate concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. So to convert moles per decimeter cubed into grams per decimeter cubed, you need to multiply by the MR of that substance. So the MR of potassium hydroxide is 39 plus 16 for oxygen plus the 1 hydrogen which is 56. So to get the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed, I'm taking this concentration in moles per decimeter cubed and multiplying by the MR. You get 32 point, oops, 34.72 grams per decimeter cubed.